Here's an FM demo using the Agilence 8P simulation located at this website. So here we have a frequency modulation scheme. The frequency of a rapidly varying signal is modulated by a slowly varying signal, or in other words, our message. The mathematical description of the modulation of the frequency of a sinusoidal carrier by another sinusoid is given by the formula here, where omega c is the carrier frequency, omega m is the modulation frequency, and m is the modulation index, which we'll see that is a trade-off between bandwidth and power. A plot of the resulting signal in the time domain, that is amplitude versus time, is shown here on the left in this interactive graph labeled time domain. An expansion of the formula shows that the resulting con signal consists of a large number of frequency components, or sidebands. This is in contrast to the case of amplitude modulation, where only two sidebands are created. The sidebands are spaced apart by the modulation frequency omega m and centered about the carrier frequency omega c. The figure labeled frequency domain shows the carrier and sideband components as a plot of amplitude versus frequency. Shown here in the frequency domain is only the significant components. Since we have an infinite number of higher order components, that have negligible amplitude. In fact, the amplitude of each component is given by a Bessel function of the appropriate component order. In mathematical notation, the amplitude of the sideband is Jn as a function of the modulation index m. And we can see here that the carrier, the middle one in the side in the frequency domain is zero and will vary zero as we vary the modulation index m. And we can see here the sideband of components is centered on the carrier frequency as it sweeps between left and right. Here we have no sidebands and now we're beginning to have sideband components. And as the modulation index increase we have more sideband components. We also note the, here that the center component or the carrier frequency is zeroing out to zero shown here. So that is we can use the modulation index M to trade off between the amount of power and the number of sidebands or bandwidth. Here we have an example of frequency modulation where the frequency is rapidly modulated by a slowly varying signal. In this case we have a carrier being modulated by this message here and here we have uh, M, which is basically your modulation parameter. So here you have omega C, or WC, which is the carrier frequency. And what we're doing here is trying to change the information according to the message. Our message is here, which is uh, omega M. And it's being modulating, it's modulating this carrier frequency. So as you see here, as I change the carrier frequency, we have the time domain description and the frequency domain description. When I change the carrier frequency, you can see that the, the frequency will increase. And, as shown here with the shift, and when I change the message frequency, we should see that the sidebands spread apart. Okay? Shown here. So what the key characteristic associated with uh, FM modulation when compared to amplitude modulation is that you have more sidebands, even though that the sidebands for a sine wave message is uh, a single sideband, but when you modulate, when you use this message to modulate the carrier, you have multiple sidebands shown here. Again, you can shift the carrier frequency shown here and you can see the variation. Now the modulation fre frequency uh, parameter M can govern the bandwidth of the FM signal as I change it. That's shown here. So as the modulation is very low, okay, it approximates and basically the bandwidth of an AM signal. Here you have the carrier frequency and the two sidebands. But we don't modulate 
the amplitude of the carry, but we modulate the frequency. Now as the modulation parameter increases, you could see the sideband increase and there's an increase in the mod uh, modulation of the carrier frequency. And note you can also trade off between the magnitude of the carrier with the other sidebands. So because the carrier does not contain any information, you can put most of your information in the sidebands. shown here. So here this is an example of FM modulation using uh, the interactive demo from Agilent HP.